Malone said about the negotiations. We've got three really good football players that we're dealing with here. We can't push the issue unless we want to be a market setter. And we're damn sure not going to be a market setter because of all the things that go with being a Dallas Cowboy. We want to be fair. At the same time, we don't want to do things that are out of line because we can't afford to be that way. Whether it's Dak, whether it's Amari, whether it's Zeke. They all understand we've got a whole group of young players coming behind them that want to be Dallas Cowboys and want to stay here. When we save money, it's not saving Jerry and I a dollar. It's just money that's going to go to another player. We're very convinced we're going to get these deals done. So, Shannon, does Steven have a point here? No, he absolutely does not have a point. Steven Jones says he doesn't want to set the market, but the market has already been set. You see Mike Thomas? The, the market is five years, $120 million. You see what the market is for quarterbacks? Aaron Rodgers, uh, Carson Wentz, Russell Wilson. The market is already set. For the running backs, it's already set. Le'Veon Bell uh, and Todd Gurley. But what he's trying to do is reset the market and compress it. He's saying these salaries are getting out of hand, and we're going to be the ones to stop it. And Amari Cooper and Dak Prescott and, and Zeke Elliott says, oh, no, you're not. The market is already there. The market is what it is. And this, it's as simple as this. If you don't want to pay them, let them go. Because the problem, Skip, is that what you're having is that while Stephen Jones and Jerry are trying to suppress the market, the guys look at it and says, when Von Miller, I talked to Von, and he was when he was going through what he was going through, he said, Shannon, it's, a, it's, a, it's incumbent upon me that I keep the, moving the ball forward. Because guess what? Khalil Mack is coming up. Aaron Donald is coming up. So if I take less, now all of a sudden they were like, well, say, Von Miller was Super Bowl MVP, and this is what he got. We can't pay you that. He's like, no, I got to keep moving this thing forward. Well, Amari Cooper has an obligation to the other receiver to keep advancing the ball. Dak Prescott has an obligation to keep advancing the ball. So does Ezekiel Elliott. These three guys should, not give, should give less than a D about who wants to be a cowboy. That's not my problem. And everybody might not have an MBA in finance. These guys might not be, you know, finance majors or econ majors. But guess who are, Skip? The agents. Those, those guys. Skip, you remember when A-Rod was getting ready to leave the Texas Rangers and he wanted to go to the Boston Red Sox. And he was willing to give money back to make it work for the Red Sox. And the player union said, oh, no, hell, you're not. We're not starting that. Players have an obligation to not start this precedent where they're giving these billionaires money back in order to suppress the market. You've already suppressed the market on one end because the rookie can only make X amount of dollars. Now you're trying to suppress it on the back end. You suppress it with these tags, franchise transition. And now they want to suppress it even further by saying, well, this contract is an outlier. So we don't want to go there. We think you should be here. No, I don't care what it's like to be a cowboy. Guess what, Skip Bayless? I did an autograph signing about two months ago, and I was compensated very well for it, and I never played for the Cowboys. So this notion about only if you're a Cowboy will you have extracurricular activities or you can have things once your career is over is not being truthful. But also, you see what happened to Alan Hearns? I'm striking while the iron's hot, and the iron is red hot. It's ghost pepper chili hot. Mm. So I'm going to get mine, and I'm going to let Stephen and Jerry Jones figure out this cap thing and whether or not who they're going to pay after I get my cake. Mm. Quick point of order. If you did not have three Super Bowl rings and you had not <laughs> made it into the Hall of Fame, you wouldn't be quite as sought after to do autograph sessions. Trust okay, me. Skip, I get all that. Trust me on that. <laughs> But hold on, you make it seem like Amari Cooper and Zach Prescott and Zeke Elliott are slam dunk, three-time Super Bowl champ and first ballot Hall of Famers. No, but let me get to my okay. point about the Dallas Cowboys. Okay. Does Steven, back to Jenny's mm -hmm. question, have a point, he, several points? Yes, he does. Should he have made those points public yesterday? No, he should not have. Huh. I do not love and have never loved negotiating through the media because it usually mm -hmm. does whichever party is trying to negotiate through the media more harm than good. I was Correct. very surprised and disappointed in mm -hmm. Stephen Jones because 
of the Jerry Steven dynamic duo. Usually Steven is the one with the conscience the and the, the brains, you know, like he's the one with the edit button who says, Jerry, and he does call his dad Jerry, which is always weird, but <laughs> Jerry, no, 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 Jerry, no, 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 don't take Johnny Manziel, we gotta take Zach Martin, you know, that kind of thing. He, he fights Jerry because Jerry will listen to one person in the world, maybe Jeannie's wife, I don't know, okay. maybe, I don't know, I'm not even sure about that, but he will listen to Steven, Sure. And, and Stephen went Jerry yesterday, and I, is it desperation? Mm. Is, it, is it flailing? Because remember, they just got back deeper into a corner, as we discussed yesterday, because now three NFC rivals have done them in by, by overpaying three different key players at the exact positions that Dallas has three who want to get paid. Right? It started with your Vikings overpaying Kirk Cousins. So there the bar went way up. I could throw in a fourth rival because the Eagles, I thought, overpaid Carson Wentz, whatever. Got $108 well, that million the, guaranteed. Skip, skip, that, skip, that was the biggest one because I believe you could stomach giving Dak Prescott $80, $90 million with about $75 million guaranteed. Okay, it's, one, it's once they went to 128 for 103. I, I know, but remember, the Kirk Cousins just went like this. It just, it, it, it raised the bar up like 20 notches yeah. higher than it was at that point because he got 28 million guaranteed for what was it three? So, well, he got three, yeah, he three, got 84, 84 fully guaranteed. Yes, the fully whole guaranteed. Was guaranteed. Guaranteed. Okay, and then Carson Wentz got 108 guaranteed dollars. Yes, ahead of Dak Prescott, and then of course right. the Rams. Beaten us twice the last three, uh, two years, but now beat us this way by giving Todd Gurley all that money, $45 million guaranteed. Now Zeke wants beyond Todd Gurley. And then yesterday, another bombshell dropped in New Orleans where Michael, Michael Thomas, Thomas, who's really Can't good, but Mike. I don't think he's that good, got $100 he million. Is. Mm. So Stephen reacts by trying to make points through the media saying, well, these three deserve to get paid, but we're not going to break any banks here. We're not going to be the market setter. We're not going to go above what three teams overpaid, or we could throw in the Eagles, four teams overpaid for these positions. So he's trying to throw in the points that are valid ones, especially when you play a premier position, quarterback, running back, receiver. If, if you're a cowboy and you are playing for America's team, it just, it, you reap the benefits of, of the, the brand association because that star in your helmet makes you a little more famous than you even are. It just always has. What, what did I say last year? Dak had, by mid-year, he had, I think, a dozen commercials, oh, national yeah. TV Is commercials, he? really? So the quarterback who did not make the top 100, had a dozen commercials. Why is that? Because he's the quarterback of America's team. Period. End of story. Did he not reap benefits of having star on helmet? You better believe he did. Mm -hmm. Does Zeke not reap some benefits? He's got this going, but he's got that going too. He's got the star on his helmet. So it's not hometown discount. It's America's team discount because you're getting something back for the privilege to play for the Cowboys. Well, Skip, here's the thing. Would you take that in consideration that I'm playing for the Cowboys, that that if I wasn't living up to the contract, if I wasn't playing very well, how does that help me if I don't play very well long term? So is that going to help Alan Hearns? Is that going to help some of these other guys that, they're gonna re that they've released? No. If Skip, now Dak Prescott said something three weeks ago that went very, very unnoticed. He says, we know our worth. He says, Amari Cooper deserves to be the highest paid. Ezekiel Elliott deserves to be the highest paid, and I deserve to be one of the highest paid. That lets me know that they know their value, and they're not cutting a discount. Yeah, his point, he went on to say, because gambling is now going to become yes. part of the product, yeah. and the cap keeps expanding every year. And his yeah. point was, if you don't let us market set now at our three positions, within two years, he said, we'll be the third paid or the fifth paid because it just keeps yes. going up, up, up. Yes! Jerry knows that. Stephen knows that. They're, they're going to figure that part out. But Stephen also has tossed out the fact that Texas has no state income tax. Mm. Does that count? Does, does that factor? A difference. Hey. Yeah. 
It doesn't uh, have. It yeah. gets How about more California skip? state it tax? You like little, that, Mr. Sharp? No, uh -uh. I do not. I, skip, I do not like it's that. It's the worst. But also, it, but also, guess what? They don't have state income tax on businesses either. Is the Cowboys a business? So guess what? If I'm not paying state tax as, a, as, as, as an employee, you're not paying, paying state tax as an employer. So, so in other words, you want me to suppress the market because you've already got your 275. The NFL has already cut Jerry Jones a check for 275 million, and he hadn't even cut the lights on in Jerry World mm. yet. He hadn't even sold any local advertisement yet. He mm. hasn't sold a T-shirt with Dak Prescott on it yet. Mm. But yet, you want me to give you a discount. I'm putting myself at harm's reach, in harm's way. Mm. Skip, I want all my money. I don't want little bit, parts of it. I want every dime in which I'm entitled to because I've outperformed. I've performed. Now pay me based on, Skip, my, my, my talent isn't based on your salary cap. Mm. I need my money. Well, you I just, want my money, Skip. You, you just told me that Dak Prescott was incredibly overrated. So, right? So why does he deserve any whoa, whoa, money? Whoa, 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 whoa. Well, that's what you just whoa, told whoa, whoa, me, whoa, uh, that you have oh, proof positive. Uh, just not that good. So maybe Jerry should say, Dak, you're just not uh, that good, right? Okay, good. That's what, that's what mm. they should do. That's what they should do and let him go. Let him hit the open market and see what he can get on the open market. Yeah, and by the way, all That's the things you, you argue for the player side, they could have argued when the collective bargaining was signed, but they all yeah, signed no, 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 that but, 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 They I all would, signed no, it. I'm with I you would, on all those points. <laughs> it's a one-way street in favor of the